Hi guys, it's Jimmy the Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 214 and SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I think you're, you're attempting to let us dive right in. So this is exponentially distributed, which means it follows the probability distribution function of e1 over lambda e to the negative t over lambda. And policy A has a deductible 1.44 deductible 1.44 and for a random loss the probability is 0.64 zero that under the policy the insurer will pay some money to the owner so if they pay some money to the owner that means they the loss is over the deductible right because this is the only part where they actually pay some money and policy b has a deductible d and for a random loss the probability of 0.52 that under this policy they will pay some money to the owner so again, th this is a probability that they're looking for. So for in policy A, it is going from 1.44 to infinity, following, and sum for some lambda, 1 over lambda e to the negative t over lambda. This is equal to 0 0.640. Then we can actually find the lambda fine. So when you take the derivative of this, this just becomes negative e to the negative t over lambda evaluated from 1.44 to infinity so this is equal to when you plug in infinity this is just be negative e to negative t over a really big number so that's just zero right think of it like this one over e to the big number that's just equal to zero so zero minus minus so that's positive e to the negative 1.44 over t over lambda is equal to 0 0.640. I can take the natural log of both sides. Natural log, to cancel this out, natural log of 0 0.640. So this is equal to negative 1.44 divided by lambda. Solving for lambda, I'm going to bring the lambda to this side and divide this by this. So negative 1.44 divided by natural log of 0 0.640. So that's what lambda is equal to. For the right hand side, it's the same idea. It's going from d to infinity, one over lambda e to the negative t over lambda, and this side is equal to 0 0.512. So again, this just becomes negative t to the negative t over lambda evaluated from d to lambda. So this is when you're evaluating evaluating in terms of t. So this is what t is equal to. So when you plug it in, same thing. This when you, the upper limit just approaches zero. So you get e to the negative d over lambda is equal to 0.512. Taking a natural log of both sides, you get negative d over lambda is equal to natural log of 0.512. So then I can just bring the lambda to the other side. d is equal to negative lambda to the natural log of 0.512 where lambda is equal to this thing right here. So plugging that in, you get negative, negative, so that's positive, 1.44 over natural log of 0 0.640 times natural log of 0.512. So this would be equal to, d is equal to 2.16, which is your answer E. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!